Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to study and replicate Hightail's art style. So just a few things before I begin. I haven't uploaded a video recently due to lack of content from Hightail. However, Hightail have recently uploaded three new posts to their blog and it looks really interesting but I don't think there's enough content to warrant making a video from it. I did however manage to get my work posted on their fan art page, so that's cool. I think the reality of it is that it's just going to be difficult to make videos about Hightail and with that even more difficult to grow an audience. We still have no mention of a release date or a beta release date, so I have no idea how long I'll be waiting to make any actual content for Hightail itself. I've played around with the idea of moving on to creating videos for other games, such as Grand Theft Auto Online, but I haven't decided yet, so it would be good to hear what you guys think. Originally I created this channel specifically for Hightail and 3D modelling purposes, and I really don't want to change that, but without any content and the fact that Hightail are now reducing the amount of updates they're releasing, it dramatically cuts down on what content I can cover. I've played a ton of games and have created some of my own apps and documents specifically for money making in games like GTA Online. Nothing sinister or illegal, just a few things to better optimise my time and money. I think it could be pretty cool sharing stuff like this with other players. So yeah, these are just some of the thoughts I've been having, let me know what you think. However, with all that said and done, let's get into the video. So I'm going to create this bench. I found this image on Hytale's website if you're interested. So the first step to replicating this bench, for me, is breaking it into smaller manageable elements. We have four planks for the table base, four legs, and a box stretcher which is basically four smaller planks. After studying the table for about five minutes, I figured out the measurements which can be seen on screen now. If you wish to build this model yourself, I will attach the model, texture and plans in a link in the description below. So now that we have our elements and measurements, it's time to model the table. This is a time lapse video, but the model took me roughly 5 minutes to complete. I then moved on to UVing the model shortly after. This isn't a tutorial as such, but a video more about showing you the process of creating this kind of artwork. I do plan on creating tutorials in the future, but with Hytale's Model Maker. If you'd like to see tutorials in any of the software I use, let me know. So shortly after UVing my model, I moved into Photoshop to paint the texture for my model. If you want to paint your texture and don't have Photoshop, you can download GIMP. It's a free software package that's pretty similar to Photoshop. I can't exactly see what this material looks like on my model. Well, I can, but with another piece of software on a second monitor. The really nice thing about Hytale's Model Maker is that you can paint your model and view it in 3D at the same time. This is the first time I've ever actually created pixel art, but I will continue to create more models like this to get a better grasp and understanding of the style. I hope you've enjoyed this video, that's it for now, I'll see you around.